Hey gang, I'm David Baker, and these are some of my favorite axes featured on Forged in Fire. Stone axes were developed by humans hundreds of thousands of years ago as tools for chopping, but were soon developed into weapons of war, and have been around from ancient Rome to colonial India. This is the horseman's ax. And from the Middle Ages through the Renaissance, the horseman's ax was found throughout the ranks of European cavalry. As armor became stronger and the swords that knights on the battlefield were using became less effective, they started to look for a weapon more suited for the battlefield. A lighter, more agile version of the old battle ax, the horseman's ax featured a curved blade on one side and a hammer or a spike on the other. Often they had a hook, allowing it to be hung from the belt or from the saddle. In the late 1600s, some versions of this weapon featured a gun barrel mounted down the center of the handle with a wheel lock to add a little bit of firepower. This unique axe is the Mzapa Zap. Now, the Mzapa Zap is the traditional short-handled axe of the Mzapa people of the Upper Congo. Now, the Zapo people were known for their thriving iron and copper industry, and this weapon truly exemplifies that. The blade is made of iron, and the head of the shaft was often plated or encased in copper. By encasing the head of the shaft, you put a lot of weight towards the head of this, which creates a lot of momentum, whether you're swinging it or throwing it. This elegant but intimidating weapon is the tabar. Recognized by its signature crescent-shaped blades, the tabar was a weapon used by soldiers in the Middle East during the Crusades. It later became a standard weapon of the Mughal armies during the 17th and 18th century in India, as Islamic influence spread through the region. The tabar was either made entirely of metal or sometimes with a wooden shaft with one or two crescent blades attached at the top. The length could be anywhere from three to seven feet long, and the tabar was used by both foot soldiers or cavalry when charging at an enemy. Now this double-ended weapon is the tabar shishbar. Now, the tabar shish bar is a variation on the standard tabar. Weaponsmiths in India would attach the crescent-shaped tabar head to one end of the shaft and the shish bar to the other, making a deadly duel. Now, the shish bar is a flanged mace, and that allowed this end of the weapon to crush deeply into an enemy's armor. And made entirely of steel, the tabar shish bar came to India during the Dali Sultanate in the Middle Ages and was used all the way through the 1700s. And some of them came with a little secret. Now, this beast of a weapon is the Viking battle axe. For centuries, the battle axe was the weapon of choice for Viking warriors. Now, axes were a staple of Viking society. Even the poorest could afford an axe for chopping wood. The battle axe, however, had a longer shaft and this curved head that allowed the axe to bite deeply into a shield wall or their armor. These axes were so important to Viking culture that warriors were often buried with their battle axes, arming themselves for that final journey to Valhalla. There you have it. Some of my favorite axes featured on Forged in Fire. Now, if you have any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get to them in future videos.